their lives, they watched Sirius because it was a seasonal indicator. We don't use hey YouTube, my name's Zach and I'm the creator of Cassandra Mar. And today I'm going to be doing part 5.3 in this series of tutorials explaining how to create your own programming language. In the last part of this tutorial, we got here, which is um, at the end. This would be for something like the for loop. Within this, we're going to do sequence. Equals new sequence. Sequence that first equals result, and then sequence that second equals this dot parse stmt. After that, we're going to do result equals sequence. After that, we're going to do return result. Flying in outer space is like going through a shooting gallery. After that, we're going to do a private expression, and this one's going to be parse expression. Okay, so we're going to do an if statement, if this, that index, equals this that tokens that count I'm going to do throw new system that exception expected Expression got EOF. Then we're going to do another if statement after that. It's going to be if this dot token square bracket this dot index is text dot string builder. String that value. Oh, sorry. String value equals text that string builder. This that tokens square bracket this dot index plus plus dot two string after that we're going to do string literal string literal equals new string literal after that we do string literal dot value equals value We're going to do return 
wandering litter. After that, we're going to do an ELSIF. This.tokens. Square bracket. This.index. Is int. And do int int value equals int this dot tokens square bracket this dot index plus plus. After that, we do int literal. Equals new and delivery. And do int literal. That value equals int value. Then we're going to return. In literal. After this, we're going to do another else if. Else if this dot tokens square bracket this dot index is string. You string ident equals string this dot token square bracket this dot index plus plus we're going to do variable we can call it var it's going to equal a new variable You can do var dot ident equals ident. Then we're going to return var. After that, we're going to do an else. And we are going to throw a new system that exception after that we're going to do an expected String literal, int literal, or variable. And there you go, guys. This is the parser. We have successfully uh, made a parser here. And in the next tutorial, part 6, we will be starting on the code generator, which is the most complex part of the compiler. Um, and, but I, would, I can guarantee it won't be as long as this one. This one was a really, really long uh, part. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next tutorial.